Shalom. And give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone as well. Peace and blessings to the sincere, hopefully elect out there is pushing his word throughout the four corners. Doing this thing of truth and sincerity. Lord Ryan is edifying. And this is another video. And this video here is gonna be something I was um thinking about today. Because I keep hearing it, which is on code. A phrase uh, that so-called uh, Negroes primarily um, are are uh, taking hold to, and it's supposed to mean something, um, according to them. You know. So I pulled it up, and from the Urban Dictionary, and it reads: "Putting on, putting your race first, looking out for." Looking out for one another. The Black Panthers were on code taking care of the community. Black people have to be on code when around other races. So apparently this was on um, Black Panther. It says, um, is that code? Basically, a version of the uh, ever super power, super popular term. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use that one. Yeah, so basically now the phrase uh, on code is being used because um, the spotlight is on Kanye West and uh, Kyrie Irving and you have uh, a lot of uh, so-called uh, they call themselves pro-black pro-blackity black folks um, they, they, I think they adopted that phrase um, uh, and I think it's really popularized by Umar Dr. Umar Johnson um, and Tyreek Nasheed and um, FYI those two are uh, uh, are compromised as well um, they're in the pocket of uh, uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, although they are very entertaining to some people and they give good insight. Um, there's hardly any so-called black, blacks, Latinos and natives who are wholeheartedly in trying to be on code. If you want to be, um, keep it real. And they haven't been um, inf uh, infiltrated. I don't. If they aren't, the, it's on a real low level. So we're really in a in a situation looking at it carnally. Um, the uh, we're done as a people. But we know that the scripture said, hey, "The Lord Yahweh Shai left a remnant according to His will, in the last days are going to wake up and." Um, endure to the end. All right, so you have the true believers now, but you also have a lot of people who are full of shit and chicken shit, and they um, and um, they just want attention. It's clear to see, you know, it's pretty clear to see for me. So this is a uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and two, and it reads, Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. So the ways of the so-called Negroes is we can come together at some point. We can all band together and build something. Build something what? I don't know. In here in America and Babylon the Great. Now this won't ever happen. Due to the fact that our people are dysfunctional, highly dysfunctional, 
and they reject the, they reject the word of the Lord. Although they've been warned, they've been told, they still want to do their own thing. All right, and this comes down to the people you know, people uh, on the on the low spectrum and on the high spectrum. They refuse, absolutely refuse, to acknowledge what Yahabashim Yahshai is doing. Now, on code, really, there was a part of time in history where uh, 